Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you're in the live stream, just put a little comment down below so you, I know you lot can hear me. If you lot can hear me, someone just write, I can hear you. <laughs> I got one terabyte of duplicates organized on DJ Lee. We'll talk about that in a minute. We will talk about that in a minute. How's everyone doing? If you can hear me, put your little, put a little thumbs up in the, uh, in the chat or something like that. Just so I'm aware. Lewis Wells, DJ Wellsy, what's good, bro? What is good? Nice one. Rasmus Yuri, I'm going to say. Dean Cronin, what's good? How's everyone doing? Appreciate 20 people joining straight away, man. This is, this is, this is good. Oh. Whom216, Jumji Ha, Gilbert, Charismatic, Big up everyone inside the uh, the live stream, man. Balsy, Gadget Mike, literally big up everyone inside, man. How's everyone's day been, man? Obviously in the UK, it's 10 p.m. right now, but I don't know where everyone else in the UK, oh, where is everyone else in the country? No, where where is everyone else in the world, actually? So let me know where you're uh, currently watching from, what time it is. Um, if you lot are just chilling in bed, if you lot are just woken up, Faisal Kali, Victor DJ, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Oh, also, if you're in the live stream, just put a little thumbs up. Um, put a little thumbs up. Um, sorry, like the live stream. Sorry, I'm not with it today. I'm, I'm actually knackered. Damn. Atlanta, New York, Virginia, <laughs> Dean Essex, bruv. <laughs> Lou Boge, yeah, send over that music library, man. I've got some, I've got some stuff to do with that. Let's have a look. 5 p.m. in the ATL, MD 5 p.m. Luton, Gadget, Gadget Mike, Luton, Bedfordshire. I'll see you. I've got to fly out from Luton soon. Jack Rayner, what are you saying, bro? Everyone big up my guy Jack in the comment right now. South Africa, 10 p.m. Canada, 5 p.m. Montreal. Listen, we got, we got people all over the world in here, man. Damn. 1 a.m. in Kenya, Tennessee, USA is 4 p.m. here. Damn. Okay. International, international viewers, international listeners, and that man. Damn. I just switched from record box to Sorrow. I love it, but I need help with settings. DJ Balsy, I got a bunch of uh, videos on my channel, so we'll make sure you go check them out. We've got Liverpool up in here. Damn, man. We've got loads of people in the chat, man. But yeah, 27 people up in the live stream. Um, Today's live stream is literally just a massive Q&A, man. Big, big q and I ain't got anything planned today. Um, there's no point in me just running a bunch of scripts on the live stream again because you lot have seen the scripts. A lot of you are asking about the scripts. Um, yeah. So if you have questions about the scripts, I can obviously fill you in. But what I'm going to say right now is they're not available just yet because I'm still trying to figure out how to distribute it amongst everyone. Um yeah, there's 14,000, but mainly duplicates. Need the genre folder sorting and metadata sorting. Yeah, Lou, Lou look, man. It's, 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 hopefully, 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 I can get it all sorted for you lot, man. It's just like, I don't want to send you lot something and then it doesn't work. And then everyone's like, CB hasn't, CB's given us wrong software. CB's broken, da, da, da. I got to make sure it's all perfect for you lot, man. So, 31 people in the live stream. Like, I don't know if you have DJ friends, share it up, share up the live stream. Um, Alan Drakes, how many how many songs you got in your music library? Come on, share it with a group. Share it with a group. Share it with a group. Oh boy. Oh right. So, does anyone have any questions? Um, I know there's plenty of people in the live stream, but does anyone have any questions? Does anyone want me to show them anything? If anyone wasn't in the live stream last week, obviously I demonstrate demonstrated some um, some scripts. If anyone wants to know, do you know what? Actually, no, this, this, this live stream is on how to organize the perfect music library. So what we're going to try and do is try and answer what is the perfect music library. If we need to go into Serato and make a bunch of crates to try and figure out what the perfect music library is, we can do that. 
Um, Gadget Mike, I appreciate that, man. Um, Alan Drake's 108. <sighs> Alan Drake's, why do you have that much music, man? How, how long have you been collecting music, bro? Because 100. Oh, Spotify database again. Running Spotify databases on your uh, on your computers, man. DJ Audio One, what's good, bro? Um, how many how many tracks do I have in my music library? I currently have, I think I just checked a minute ago, thirteen thousand. Um, but I still need to delete a bunch. There's a bunch of tracks waiting in a delete folder. Um, I'm just sorting out. Um, I'm just sorting out a few things on my library, and then. Um, yeah, I'll delete them. Or what I'll do actually first is I'll move them over to my um, I'll move them over to my hard drive, and then if I do need them at a later date, then yeah, I might um get them back. But right, who we got in here? We've talked about this game. Which crates would you make if you can't focus them around genres? Um, what crates would I make if I can't focus them around genres? So. Rasmus Yuri, what I would do is I would make um, scenario crates. So obviously, as a DJ, you face different scenarios when you go out DJing from trying to get the ladies dancing, trying to get everyone dancing on the dance floor. You might have like a bunch of mums that you're trying to get on the dance floor. Do you know what I mean? There's always a there's always a scenario in a club that you need to cover. So if I was to organize my music library without doing genre crates it would be scenarios so we could talk about scenarios now i could talk i can talk you all through my thought process of scenarios and the club if you don't want me to so hang on let me just keep track of this chat because i'm gonna lost uh right well it's dj soto yeah vibes crates then so basically the way i see it right so you walk into a club you're, you're a dj you walk into a club right so if you're playing the the whole night, so you're playing from 9 p.m. until 3 a.m., right? You walk into the club and the first thing you're going to do is set up all your equipment, put your controller up, plug in your laptop or whatever, and then no one's going to be in the clubs, right? No one's going to be inside the venue. So you're going to be playing music to yourself. So this is what, this is what I call opening. So you want to have an opening crate. Inside that opening crate, you want to have a bunch of tracks that you're not going to be playing main set or warm up. These are going to be tracks that you like yourself. So I always say to DJs, always open up with tracks that you like to get yourself warmed up and ready for the night. So, so for me, my favorite genre is um, old school R&B, right? So I'll open my night. So I'll go into my opening crate. I'll go into opening R&B and it will be a bunch of tracks that are like album cuts, right? So say for example, Usher. Usher's album 8701, right? He's got a track four, a track three, but then he's got You Remind Me on there. But we don't want to play that for opening because that's a, that's a, I feel like that's a warm-up track or a main set track depending on um, what event you're playing. But like Usher might have a track on there that's like track three, not many people know about, but that will be one of my opening tracks. Then I'll just play a bunch of old school R&B that I haven't heard in years, right? All these tracks that I won't be playing warm up, I won't be playing main set, I'm going to play an opening, right? As you're playing the opening set, people are going to start coming coming into the venue. And the first people to ever, the first people to walk inside a venue when you're DJing are girls, right? The girls will come in with their mates, they'll come in with about a group of four or five, and they'll go to the bar, they'll get a cocktail, and they want to chat. They probably haven't seen their friends all week, right? Because obviously everyone works, right? So they go out on a Friday night or a Saturday night, they haven't seen their friends, so they want to chat. So that's why the volume of the music when you first walk, when and the, the night starts, is always quite low, right? People come in, they want to chat, they want to have a drink, then gradually you start to you know increase the volume yeah but then the girls get one drink right then they get two drinks and then they get three drinks and then they start to get a bit louder and start to want to you know start dancing so they'll get up from their table and then one or two girls will start to you know shake their hips or whatever so you go so from from your opening scenario you're then going to want to start getting the girls dancing. So that's another crate you could create, right? So ladies R&B or ladies warm up. Now inside this crate could be single ladies Beyonce, love on top Beyonce, no scrubs, 
Um, anyone help me out in the? Anyone help me on the chat here? Any? Think of any of the the, the lady songs, right? The, the the bait girl songs. Just try and put some in the comments right now. So you play like what else is there? Family Affairs, Mary J. Blige. Um, God, I'm, I can't think from the top of my head now, but you kind of get the idea. So basically, you want to start getting all the girls dancing. You want to get the girls um, dancing and singing. And I think someone just said there, yeah, like a sing-along. So you want to have like sing-along songs and tracks that the girls are going to like, yeah. So then what that's going to do is that's going to move the girls from their table, right, over to the dance floor. So like I said, you're not going to see a group of guys dancing on the dance floor first ever. Well, you might do, but in my experience, it's always the girls first because the girls aren't afraid to go on the dance floor and dance, right? But the, the man them are, right? So anyways, you get the girls on the dance floor. So then you want to be inside a crate that has all your ladies' songs, right? All your ladies' songs. Like I, I can see a few here. So you got Run the World's Girls, TLC, Irreplaceable, Players, Where My Girls At, all them kind of tracks there, yeah? Because the girls are going to be on the dance floor, dancing, singing, whatever. And then, yeah, so you want to be nice and comfortable. So when you're in that scenario, you want to have a crate for that. So ladies R&B, ladies whatever, right? Now, the girls are on the dance floor. <laughs> Audio one, man's not hot, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so once the girls are on the dance floor, um, you want to keep them dancing. But now the club's going to start to fill up, right? So there's girls on the dance floor and there's people starting to come in. All the guys are starting to come in. Everyone's coming in, whatever. But what's going to happen is you're going to be playing all these girls songs, but you're not going to be able to attract the guys on the dance floor because no guy is going to want to dance to single ladies or sing their heart out to WAP or... TLC, no scrubs, are they? So what you need to then do is move to a crate that caters for everyone. So you want to have like an, uh, a, a commercial crate, I'd say. So a crate where all the songs in there will be for everyone in the club. So a prime example, what I always use as a, a track for everyone is This Is How We Do It, Montel Jordan, right? You drop This Is How We Do It, Montel Jordan, right? And then the guys that are hanging around the side are like, oh, jump into the middle of the dance floor. And now you have guys on the dance floor and girls on the dance floor. And now you have a crowd. Now you have to try and keep that crowd. But you want to try and keep them with the club classics, I'd say. So you've got, this is how we do it. You've got Usher, yeah. You've got Finesse, um, Cardi B and Bruno Mars. One Dance Drake, um, Turn Me On, Kevin Little. Um, to, uh, anyone help me out here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like all those songs, right? That everyone likes. Um, Sarani, no games. Beanie Man, who am I? Um, the Baby Boy, Sean Paul, Beyonce. All those tracks. All those tracks for everyone, right? Now you have a dance floor, right? Everyone's enjoying themselves. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Then you might want to start ramping up the tempo. So you might want to go from like 100 BPM, start work, working your way up to 120 B BPM, and then the energy is nice and high, so everyone's happy. But you're still you're still staying in your, you know, club classics, trying to please everyone. And then you then you might start want to go in different directions, right? So you might want to start playing some ladies hip hop. So you might play Bodak Yellow. So you need a crate for that, ladies hip hop. Bodak Yellow, WAP, Motorsport, all those kind of tracks. Then you might want to play some commercial hip hop because you're at that tempo now. So you might want to play Jay-Z, Kanye, Paris, Lemonade, stuff like that. So you kind of just want to have different crates for different scenarios like i guarantee all of you have played paris by jay-z and kanye west right the energy is so high and you want to carry on that energy right so why don't you have a crate of tracks that match that energy like yeah that's 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 that's, that's how i that's how i think in clubs anyway but hang on i think ras says i'd like to hear your thoughts but not focused on nightclubs Okay, hang on. Let me. So, hang on. Let me see. I've, I've, I've worked my way down here. So, Rasmus, I'd like to hear your thoughts. So, let me work up a bit because I see a lot of people talking. So, da, 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 da. right. So, Rasmus asked that question, which I just rambled on about. Does that? If I hope that made sense to everyone. That makes sense in my head. But MTV Luke, where can I download high quality Amber Piano? Heavy 
hits. Right, let me let me show you. Shall I, shall I, can I share my screen? Let me have a look. Right, we'll come back to more of these scenarios in a minute. But um, let's have a look. Ooh. One second. Right, I don't know if I can share my screen. Is this going to work? Um, do, 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 do. So hang on. To answer... Um, bloody hell, I've lost it now. To answer MTV Luke's question... Oh my God. Uh, hang on, bear with me, people. I've got too many windows open here. Let's put that there. Where's OBS? Put that there. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's going on here? Right, two seconds. Ah, oh God, right. All right, my bad. So is it this one, main scene two? Yeah, here we go. Right, so to answer MTV Luke's question, Heavy Hits has um, high quality Amma Piano. So I can type in here, I think I can type in up here, uh, Amma Piano, and then it will find me a bunch of Amma Piano tracks. <laughs> So yeah, so you got Asake, um, you got, hang on, do you know what actually, no, if you come over to playlists actually, oh, and then type in uh, Ama Piano up here, um, they have a bunch of playlists that you can check out, so you can go into like this first one here, and then, um, so there's a DJ called DJ Massive who's put this uh, crate together. So basically you can come down here and you can see like there's a bunch of Uncle Waffles. Um, so yeah, there's a Stormzy Rema, I'm a piano mix in here. But like, yeah, so if you want to look for some I'm a piano remixes or I'm a piano tracks, Heavy Hits is your best, um, your best site, I feel anyway. And if you want to get your first month for $4.99, use the code DJCB at the checkout. And then you can get your first month for four ninety nine. But yeah, if you come back, um, they have plenty of playlists on here. Um, I'm a piano, I'm a piano bootlegs, um, top thirty, I'm a piano, passport Africa, heavy, heavy, I'm a piano. So if you're going to hear, um, you can see like they got Terminator, Asake, uh, Big Flexer, Costa Titch. So all your bait and your big I'm a piano tunes are all on this website. So yeah, to answer your question, MTV Luke. Heavy Hits is your best bet. Use the code DJCB to get your first month for four ninety nine. Right, back to the chat. Hang on. Whoa, God, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, where we at? 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 Um, right, uh, see, I need more, man, but I can't think of the hip hop. R&B classics. So, so DJ Bosey, I'm guessing you're saying you need more tracks, but you can't think of the hip hop R&B classics. If you check out my um, my store, I'm going to put the link in here, actually. Um, do I have it here? Do, 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 do. Products, digital products. Um, do, 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 do. Hang on one second. It's actually a half price, actually. So... Um, where's DJ Bowsy? Wait, hang on. How do I spell his name? Yeah. So if you have a look at this link here, um, so basically I put together um a bunch of CSV files of all the tracks that I have in all my crates. So um, yeah. So if you are struggling with like R and B tracks or hip hop tracks, all the tracks that I have are in there. So yeah, go check that out. It's currently at half price right now. So go check that out. Go download it and don't go buy it if you need it. Um, I used to use record box and USBs, but moved to Serato. So all my music is in contents folders, but no genre folders. Last check, it was 17K. Need to condense that. Vibes crates. So would you add scenarios? So would you add scenarios as a tag to utilize smart crates? Yes. So Rasmus, what I'm going to do is... Right, hang on. We've got 54 people in here, man. Damn. <laughs> um, so Rasmus, what I would do, let me let me open up my Serato. So I actually cleared out my Serato just before this stream so I could kind of just do whatever I wanted. 
And Serato, Serato, Serato. Oh, one second, people. Um, OBS, Obihan. Close that. OBS down here. Oh, sick. Right. So, oh my God, there's so much going on here. Um, so, where was I? Uh, so, Rasmus. Yeah. So, if I change to here, so this is just my cleared out Serato. But say, for example, um, let me just put in all my music. Uh, is it this one? Yep. Uh, bear with it. Right. So basically, this is my music library, not organized. Um, so, yeah, we can do stuff. We can play around with it in here. But to answer um, da -da 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 -da, Rasmus Yuri's question, so would you add scenarios as a tag? So if I go over to my, I hope everyone can see this by the way. If I go over, oh, hang on, let me wait for scenario. scenario? Um, let me wait for Ser Serato to sort itself out because it's taken a while. Oh. Come on. Right, let me just double check. Oh yeah, hang on, people. Bear. I should I should have really done this before, but it shouldn't take too long. All right, it's done. Right, so basically, this is my Serato. Um, these are all my tracks, thirteen thousand or whatever. So yeah, so to answer Rasmus's question, so what I would do, um, so if you come over to my comment section, and then if you see here, I've got a bunch of like hashtags in here based on like certain scenarios. So it might be commercial UK warm up, club classics. Uh, yeah, Club, Club Classics is one of my the biggest tag that I use. Um, but then yeah, there might be like, so for people in the UK, um, I have like commercial drill. Oh, actually, hang on. Can you not see that actually? Um, oh yeah, cool. So I have commercial drill. So that's a scenario. So there's drill music that I want to play, but maybe everyone doesn't know the deeper stuff. So I'll play commercial drill. But yeah, so Rasmus, what I would do is I would... Um, Come up to Smart Create up here, go to Add Rule, go to Comment Contains, then I'd put hashtag Club Classics, save that, and then I'll just have a crate here called uh, Club Classics, right? And then obviously, these will have all my Club Classics tracks. Um, there's a bunch of duplicates in here because I was testing out my duplicate software earlier. Um, yeah, but these are all my Club Classics. Um, and then if I feel the need that I want to add another Club Classic to these tracks here, I can just simply just highlight these tracks. Ooh. And just put Club Classics here. And then that will automatically go into that folder. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yo, bro, what's good? I really dig your videos. Got a question. How do you alphabetize your crates? I've tried deleting the new order pref file, but it doesn't work. When you say alphabetize, you mean like put them in alphabetical order, I'm guessing. Um, I don't, I don't do it. I just kind of just move them. I, I have my crates. So in my actual library, um, I have my crates based on like, the order of the night. So say for example, if I make a new crate system here, like I would literally go by how the night flows. So I'd put a crate here called opening. And then I'd have like inside here would be like opening R and B, um, opening house. And then obviously after opening, it would be warm up. So then I'd, I'd do, um, ah. I'd do warm up. Then inside warm up would be all my different scenarios. So yeah, club classics. Then it'll be like ladies warm up. Um, you might have like, um, duh, I don't know, commercial warm up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then you'd have like, um, I'd have main set or whatever and then what i would do is i would then start to create my genre crates and then 
I'd be like, so my favorite genre is R and B. I put that there. Then inside there, I'd probably make like a old school R and B, and then a new school R and B. No, I put I do mid school. So mid school for me is between the years of twenty ten and twenty seventeen. So I'd be like uh, mid school R and B. Then all the different scenarios that come around R and B. So um, new school. Then I don't know. Then I'd probably have like slow R and B, and then stuff like that. Um, and then yeah. So I just I just kind of order them however I want. To be fair, like I'll just put hip hop because that's my next favorite genre. Then dancehall, um, etc. Um, it so to be honest, if you don't have that many crates, you could just alphabetize alphabetize. I can't even say the word alphabetize them yourself. Um, but obviously, if you've got a lot of crates, you got to question yourself: Why do you have a lot of crates in it? Um, yeah, so that's what I say. Um, I followed you a lot. I uh, followed a lot of your advice on music library, man. I really have helped me. Appreciate that, it's DJ Shiko Belly. Um, gotta have a ladies crate they can jam to or sing along to yep you gotta make sure you have a sing along crate or a ladies crate so yeah in here in warm up I'd probably have like sing along R&B etc um, what else we got players oh, okay well, this is going through the tracks Um, alright so Rasmus I'd like to hear your thoughts not focus on, focus on nightclubs to be honest it's the same thing like I don't know. Say if you're doing a party, say if you're doing like a, a 30th party, you're, you're still going to be using like scenarios. So it's going to be like your main R&B, your like bait R&B. You got to have opening R&B. So when you, when you start, when you play at like a party, um, no one's going to be there at first. So you need to play songs that kind of like that you're not going to play later on. And then I, I don't know, you kind of need to, each party is different. This is the thing, like, you, how would how would I cater? So for a birthday party, what I would do first, right, is if I if I have a, bar, a birthday party to DJ at, I'd ask them what music they want. Yeah, then I'd be like, give me a, a couple of examples of tracks that you like that you want to hear. Then they'll say a bunch of tracks, and then I'll just start to just figure out the night from there. So what I would do is I'd do like I don't know, I'd do thirtieth birthday party, right? Then I'd say. They'd say they'd give me a bunch of tracks. So I'd put them all in the crate. I'd be like, um, I don't know, tracks to play, right? And then what I'd do is I'd just put in a bunch of tracks. And let me just put in, I don't know, uh, warm up, club classics. Just put these in, I don't know. So then I'd put tracks to play in. And then because I've categorized all my music, so I'd say, for example, I'd play like, one of their tracks they wanted is Wild Thoughts. I know Wild Thoughts is a commercial track that everyone likes. So I would play play this because it's one of the tracks they want to play. But then I'd go to the smart crate that it's in. So you can see here that it's in a bunch of smart crates here, like Club Classics, Ladies, whatever. So then what I would do is I'd come up to my Club Classics. Actually, no, first of all, what I'd do, all the tracks that they, um, they want, I'd highlight them like red, right? And then... I'll be playing a track. So let's say, yeah, I'll play Chris Brown AO. They like this track. And maybe I don't want to play all the songs that they want because I don't want to be a jukebox. So I'll play Chris Brown AO. Then I'll go to the crate that I know it lives in. And then what I'll do is I'll scroll around. Then I'll press Command L. This will find where I am um, in the crate. Then I can scroll down and I can have a look at all the other tracks that are not red. Do you know what I mean? Like just try and spice it up a little bit. Then when I get down a little bit more, actually, hang on. Do you know this is this? Yeah. So then when I get down a little bit more, I'll start searching again. Then I might come across another red track, wherever they are. <laughs> I might come across another red track, whatever. I'll play Punjabi MC. This is another track that they want for their party. Then that's going to be in another crate. Then I'll go into that crate and then I'll just kind of just bounce around my crates based on the tracks that they've given me. Um, yeah. So say, for example, you play No Scrubs. That's going to be ladies tracks, right? So then you go into your ladies crate and then you play some tracks from in there, um, et cetera, et cetera. I have no idea if I'm making sense to anyone. It may, <laughs> it's, this is the problem, right? All this stuff makes sense in my head. I really need to create a video of explaining everything that goes on in my head because everything, I, like, 
so much stuff processes in my head when it comes to this music library. I just know where everything is. Um, so yeah, um, where am I now? Da, 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 da. A banger for girls is High School Musical Breaking Free. Do you know what? Do I even have that? No, I haven't played. I haven't heard Breaking Free in so long. Um, Mike Beats, CB, what's good? Uh, Jack Rayner, Spr oh. Jack, bro, Sprinter is one of the best tracks out in the UK right now. Come on, man. Do I even have it? Oh my God, I don't even have it in this library. Um, yeah, Heavy Hits, Defo, I'm a Piano, Dance or Reggae. I went on Heavy Hits with your promo. Thanks, bro. Very good site, a lot of tracks and now trying to trying the mashup currently. Yeah, the mashup is decent. Um, I recommend to never play Jay-Z as a starter song, that should always be a follow-up song to drive up the crowd's energy. Yeah, Mike Beats. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play um, um, Kanye West, Jay Z at first. Imagine playing that like <laughs> first thing. Um, that's like dreams and nightmare. What's everyone's views on dreams and nightmare? Oh my god, I can't speak. What's everyone's views on dreams and nightmares, Meek Mill? Because you know what, I feel like that track is just overplayed and it's not that great. <laughs> Um, MIG, I say I have 1,500 songs. Um, whoa. Oh my God. There's so many comments here. <laughs> um, where am I? Um, but it's all Spanish and English 1,500 songs. Tony Jacobson, what's good? Um, are your tracks censored? So, Kareem, I actually don't have that many clean tracks and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, so I have some, like if I, um, let me make a smart crate. So let me just do, so I don't know, where does it say? Song contains clean. Let's see how many tracks I have. Let me see how many clean tracks I have. So I have out of my 13,000 track library, a thousand clean tracks. Um, Way back when I deleted my um, clean music because it was taking up my library. Because I, I I thought to myself, I only really play in nightclubs um, and venues that allow swearing. So I thought to myself, why do I need clean music? I don't really play on the radio. And even if I and even if I do play on the radio, what I'll do is one or two things. I'll go and download the tracks there and then. Basically, I'll make a playlist. Then I'll go and get the tracks, the clean tracks, or I'll just record the mix. And then I'll censor out the stuff myself using my um, like Logic Pro or something like that. I just really don't bother with clean edits anymore because um, I just feel like I don't need them and they take up too much space. Like I've only got a 256 gigabyte um, laptop. So I need as much space as I can. I think I've got like 30 gigabytes left. So I do need to have a massive cleanup. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Also rec recommend if you want to play new recent radio hits, always mix that song's chorus hook and mix out to hit strong's instrumentals and play it all, all the way back. Lean up. What do you use the color colors for? Um, Rasmus. So I use the colors for um, determining if a track is an opening track, a warm up track, a main set track, or a delete track. So what I would do is. I'll go into say um, my genres crate. So then I'll go to my R&B crate, for example. And then what I'll do is when I'm doing my sorting, I'll work from like one to all the way down to the bottom. So I'll have a, I'll have a look at a track. So over you Ashanti. So from the top of my head, that's a yellow track. That's an opening track. Uh, we are calling you Silk. So red. So yellow is opening. Red, when it comes to R&B, is like slow jams, like sexy music or whatever. Um, green, uh, orange is a, orange is warm up. So I would say TLC, no scrubs is warm up. So I put that as orange. And then green is banger. So R&B banger would be, da -da 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 -da. for example, go crazy Chris Brown or something like that. Um, I'll put that as green. So then if I just put these into a crate, go crazy. Ashanti, duh, duh. hang on. Then I'll just put 
I don't know, this one in here as well. So yeah, so my color codes are, actually I need one more. Uh, have I got no scrubs in here? Uh, no scrubs, TLC. Da, 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 da. So yeah, so my color codes, so I just call this, uh, oh my God, color codes. So my color codes would be, um, so yeah, green would be a banger. So the, the, you'd play that at peak hours. Red would be your slow jams. Yellow would be your opening tracks. So like I said earlier, the tracks that you play right at the start of a DJ set. Um, I'd put this as black. So this would be delete. Um, and then this orange will be no. Uh, this orange will be warm up. So these are the color codes I use. Um, in Serato, you can't um, create smart crates based on color codes, which is annoying. So what I do do is, um, so if I have a color here that's green, I'll put the color name in the remixer column up here. So obviously you can see green, red, yellow, delete, and green, uh, orange. So then I can then create smart crates based on the colors. So I can just be like, um, the genre is R&B and then the remixer is orange. Then I would just create this, I'll just call this crate warm up R&B. Then when I'm going through all my tracks, I can be like, um, uh, where is it? 2014. So if I'm going for my tracks and I think this is a, these are warm up tracks, I'll change these to orange. And then if I go to my warm up crate, all these tracks are now in here. Then all I need to do is just color these just so I know. And then we're good. So that's how I use my color codes and that's how I get around using color codes for smart crates, etc. Um, Oh yeah, well, DJ Gil Soto just explained all of that in one sentence. <laughs> um, CB, what song would you avoid playing twice at a gig? I have a top song I usually don't play twice, but once did because it was tipped a hundred dollars cash. I had to. Um, I avoid playing any song twice. I never, ever, ever <laughs> play a song twice unless yeah, I get money for it. So. And even then, I might not even play it again. It all depends when the person wants um, the reload in it. So say, for example, I've played a track, the chorus is gone, the verse is halfway through, then someone goes, play it again, play it again. It's too late. It's too late. If I've just dropped the track, everyone's going mad, and someone comes up to me and throws a £10 on the decks, I'll play the song again. But... You, there's a time limit. There's a time limit when you play, like when you reload a track. But in terms of playing songs twice in a night, never, never do it. Um, it's like it's like the, the written rule for DJs, isn't it? You just don't play a song twice. Um, yeah, you just don't play a song twice. I just can't do it. I feel weird playing a song twice. I feel like I've got so much music in my music library. Why am I playing one single song twice? Um, who we got here now? Oh my god, hang on. Oh my life, I can't keep up. Um, will this work if I have all my music on an external hard drive? I just drop all the packs I get then organized individually into crate. Wait, what? Gilbert, will this work if I have all my music on an external hard drive? I just drop all the packs I get then organized individually into crates. Uh, does what work? Hang on, I don't know what I mentioned. <laughs> um, Gilbert, just kind of just elaborate a bit on that a bit, please. Um, Lewis Donnelly, I'm trying to buy the music collection on your store. Site is not letting me complete the order. Is there another way I can buy? Uh, Lewis Donnelly, hit me up after this. Um, I'll sort you out. Um, is it, How does the playlist work? Is there a way you can sort by BPM instead of sorting according to the ones you add first? Um, Benjamin, if you're talking about the CSV files, I'm sure. Can you do it by BPM? You should be able to do it by... You should be able to do it by BPM. Um, it's an Excel spreadsheet, so you should be able to do it based on BPM. I can double check that for you. Um, Lou, is there anything I need to do after sending you this library? Uh, no, I'll just be in touch after I've sorted it out for you. Um, if you end up having a short... 
what does the air rec what does the remixer section mean so the remixer section is literally just another column I use for sorting out my music. So obviously you have your standard song, artist, BPM, key, genre, year, whatever. But then if you right click in Serato, you have a bunch of other um, columns that you can use for um, organization. Now, some of them you can't edit, but things like, yeah, so you've got, so I use the composer as well. Um, I don't really use that anymore in my new my new system, but so you've got composer there. Um, you've got comment you can use grouping. So I can put like what's this? No scrubs. So I can put in here the, the group is ladies song. Then I can also put in here another category. So this could be like I don't know um, older no old school no. 90s R&B maybe then I can just use these columns to just organize as much as I want to like what you should do um is you should just try and use all the um the columns as much as possible to organize your music and then based on the tags you set these tracks you can create smart crates you can create you can literally you can organize as much as you want based on all these things so I would say yeah, use the remixer section um grouping comment composer to try and organize as much as you can um, thanks to apply. It's a nightmare of a track, Scott Summers. <laughs> if the room don't know dreams and nightmares, it's an absolute vibe killer. Do you know what it is, Jack? It, if there's a room full of girls, yeah, vibe killer. It is. I I don't play it anymore in it. Like, it just takes too long to get into it, and I feel like it's a proper bottle club like stunters track. Do you know what I mean? Like for your average open format club, Dreams and Nightmares isn't really uh isn't really the best. Um Rasmus, I'm a book a one on one session for a discussion. Yeah. DJ Day Day, what's good bro? What's good man? Um yeah Rasmus. Um yeah, book a one to one session. Basically, um, if anyone doesn't understand what Rasmus just said, I run one to one um music library organization sessions where I'll literally sit on a Zoom call like this with you. Um, you share your screen and I'll go through your music library and I'll figure out how you can organize it best based on your play style. So we'll have a quick conversation. I'll ask you like um, where you DJ, how you DJ, what's your favorite genres. And then I can, I can kind of figure out your play style. Then I can kind of explain to you how you can organize your music library. Now, these one-to-one -one sessions, and I need to Put the, I have put this in the description of it now is they're not for me to run the scripts that I've been working on because it's not they're not ready yet and the scripts could take longer than the session so the session is literally for us to have a conversation and for you to do some homework pretty much afterwards in it so I'm gonna set, I'll set you a bunch of tasks and as a DJ yourself you need to put the work in if you don't put the work in your music library is not gonna get sorted in it so and you can't expect someone else to do it for you I mean people are sending me their music libraries and I am sorting it out for them um, but not everyone can send a hundred gigabyte music library over to me because their internet is so slow. Some people can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. But so if you want to have a one-to-one -one session with me, there is a link, um, which I'll put in the chat. Um, do, 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 copy link. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a link in the chat here and I'll pin it as well. Um, in it so yeah if you want to um book me to have a look at your music library check the pinned comment out um at the top of the page dj day day we see that you um was it what did you hit 100k subscribers on the youtube from your mixes big up yourself bro um no need to create just play bam 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 might be sense i haven't thought the right way to use colors i use record box which has more colors i'm just overthinking stuff um right so dj wellsy how would you recommend creating a large music library in a short time finding music you like and download tracks in bulk similar to that or download songs other like lewis give me a couple of weeks right there's something i have in the pipeline that could literally sort you out 
because yeah so i feel like as a brand new dj what you need yeah is you need music to obviously get yourself ready for the clubs and you need to have all the music and all the crates ready and what i'm working on over the next couple of weeks that could help you out so just stay tuned like i should have a video coming out on it in a couple of weeks um but this could really really help um new djs and just djs in general uh to build up their music library um thanks i do private corporate events wanted to patronize you but needed uh mostly keen tracks yeah i don't really do the whole um corporate events really where you need to have clean music for stuff but if i ever do have to do a corporate event i will just play house <laughs> i'll just play a bunch of house instrumentals and just i, I kind of get away with it that way um DNN in is a hood fave, but play it once. Everyone is nice and saucy. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing. What's a delete track? DJ Lee, a track that you want to remove out of your music library. Because, right, this is why I feel like having smart crates for genres is so good, right? Because what you'll do, let me, let me, let me, oh, my, my Serato is literally going to have a breakdown in a minute. Hang on. Let me show you something, or let me show you the system that I'll run. So let me just delete these quickly, because these don't have a thing. Uh, yeah, look, actually, do you know what? Let me just, uh, let's do this. So say for example, this is, an, this is a smart crate, right? So let me close. So let me just get rid of the majority of these tracks. Right, say for example, um, this is a bigger R&B folder. I'm only doing this for video purposes, so it's a lot shorter. But you're going through your music library. You're listening to these tracks. And you're like, okay, these are like these are opening tracks. Oh, this is a warm up. Blah blah blah. But then you might come across a track, and you're like, I will never play these tracks again. So what you'll do is you'll mark them black. Yeah, mark them black, and you change the remixer to black. And then what you can do as well to build up all your black tracks is you can just have a smart crate called, uh, called um, well, you can have a smart crate with the rule remixer is black. Then these will be all tracks to delete. So say for example, you're going through your genre crates. Yeah, you're seeing a bunch of tracks you don't like, right? You're gonna just put delete in the remixer column, right? Oh, let me just close that. Um, you go for your jungle. You want to delete these, right? Um, you go for another crate. You might see a bunch of tracks in here. You're like, I don't even want these. So you're go you're sorting through each of your genres, right? You're doing like your six months cleanup. You go through your crates every six months, and you're like, let me just go through them. Are these tracks delete? Are these tracks warm up? Whatever. Then when you come to finishing your um, genre crates, you come down to your your deletes. Uh, Oh my God, I think my cats are literally just, I don't know what my cats are doing downstairs, but they're making a whole heap of noise. Um, sorry, the remix is supposed to be delete. Right, so in here now, sorry. Um, in here, you now have all the tracks that you're gonna delete. So what you can do is highlight them all, press command, shift and delete. And now all these tracks are removed from your music library and your computer and you've just cleaned up as well as organize your music. Um, people, one second, right? My cats, I have no idea what they are doing, <laughs> but they're making noise. Give me one second. How do I turn this off? Two seconds. Right, sorry about that. Oh my god! Right, the cats are trying to break into the uh, their food their food dispenser and making a whole heap of noise. Um, bah, right, where was I? Oh my god! Um, 
Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Um, how have you been, CB? DJ Canair Rep 416. I'm good, bro. I've been good. I'm good. I'm living. Busy as hell, but I'm good. Um, what have we got here? Great advice. Your way of organizing. Um, all right, hang on, Gilbert. What do you say again? Um, so the way of my organizing, I can do it automatically, and I'm working on something that could literally do any anyone's library within an hour. So yeah, bear with me, people. I am working on something. I just need to get it out the gate. Um, oh my god, I'm out of breath. Whew. Um, I love all your videos. You helped me so much in the DJ music industry. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Shadia Marshall. Um, you can sort the collections by BPM, click the header of each list, then go to data, then yeah, Jesse, thank you very much. Um, didn't realize you're underaged. If you follow cover to nice one. Right, Jesse Appiah. Thanks for supporting the DJ community. I've played on CDJs and experienced issues in viewing the color tags of my songs. Do you have any recommendation on how to navigate it? Um I don't think I've ever used um color tags on um CDJs, so I'm not actually sure. Um yeah, right. God, I've worked my way down to all these questions. I hope I haven't missed anyone's question out. Um But yeah, right, let me come off this screen and just put just me again. Looks like I have a little breather. Whew, man. Right, what have I missed? Right, so does anyone how anyone else have any questions? I feel like I just rambled on so much. Then um, still got forty people in the chat. Big up everyone. Um, so what else can we do on this live stream? How long we've we been live for? Fifty two minutes. You know what? I might even leave it to an hour today because you know what? I need to wake up. I got a uh, I got a personal training session tomorrow. So I do need the sleep. So if anyone, if people don't have um, any more questions or if there's, is there anything anyone wants me to demonstrate to them today, let me know. Um, but yeah, let me have a look. Just make sure I haven't missed anyone's comments. But yeah, people, so basically I'm running a bunch of different services, right? So if you want your music library organized, you can either send it to me uh, via WeTransfer, which is seeming to be diff proven to be difficult over the past couple of days because people are trying to send it. It gets to 99% and then it decides to just be like, nope. And then it cancels the upload. Um, I have been working, so today... I made a step in the um, the genre, get genre and get year script, which is in the right direction. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have something that I can test out myself um, that hopefully that other DJs can use. But yeah, do you know what? With me, I'm terrible. I, I, I write a load of software. I, I, I do all this stuff, but I never, ever get it out. Um, So it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. And also like, pricing right i don't even know how to set the pricing for this thing like if someone if someone was gonna if someone was gonna get okay so let's let's just let's do a scenario here right you got ten thousand tracks right someone can get all the genres and all the years for those tracks right how much would you pay for it go on hit me hit me and we could probably figure out a price for all this stuff because i have no idea how to price this um dj jill soto do you use ops for your streaming and final cut pro for editing yep obs i'm using right now um i didn't have a clue how to use obs before lockdown kind of just figured it out myself and final cut yeah i've been using final cut for years now well when i say years say about three years now um i got it free not free i got it quite cheap because it was um i got my macbook on a student account um, then I got the um, the Final Cut Pro stuff all included in it, so it was good. Uh, are you running a MacBook Pro? Which model? I need to upgrade my 2013. I am running. Oh God. Ugh. 
I'm running a MacBook Pro, um, what's it, thirteen inch. Um, it's a 2017 model. Um, it's not on. No. Um, I'm running a 2017 model. Um, yeah, I've had this for ages now. Um, I am considering getting one of the M1 Max, but then at the same time, I'm like, do I want to spend three grand? Um, this laptop has this this laptop touch wood is been working flawlessly um for so long i don't even feel like i need to upgrade it um the only the only reason i was going to upgrade it was um cuz of serato stems now i used serato stems um a few times actually no I, I used it for quite a bit but then i realized i, I don't you i don't really use it as much as i wanted to so i've just downgraded back to serato to um 2.5.9 so i don't know like djs that or serato djs what version uh serato are you using have you lot moved over to stems have you stepped away from stems um i have gone back off of stems so yeah i'm on serato 2.5.9 um it works flawlessly on my MacBook. Like, you know, like some laptops have like a bit of lag. Um, it takes long to load up. Honestly, Serato 2.5.9 on my MacBook 2017 MacBook, honestly, works flawlessly. I don't even have to upgrade. Um, touch wood. Um, so, yeah. Um, demonstrate the backspin beat effects on DJM S9 or S11. I mean, my S9 is not plugged in at the moment, um, but it's quite straightforward. I think like, I can't remember the setting, but you press the backspin and you can set it at a four bar, eight bar, 16 bar, 32. I think I normally set it at 16. Um, and I put the, the what's it called again? I put the level, the level depth knob like halfway, so it's like at 12 o'clock, and then I just push it down and it does a backspin. Um, I, I literally done it the weekend. I don't really use it that much, um, but yeah, I do use it. 30 pounds, similar to a month uh, record pool. DJ Day Day, rate what you're doing for the scene, bro. No worries, I appreciate that, bro. Literally, like, someone asked me today why I started my YouTube channel, and I literally said, like, the reason why I started was because when I was starting as a brand new DJ, there was no one like me helping DJs. So like, for example, like when you start as a brand new DJ, you don't know how to organize your music library. You don't know what tracks to play in, in, in clubs. You don't know this, you don't know that. But I feel like my channel has everything that you need to get yourself ready to be in a club. Like I have playlists for you to download. I have like, scripts that I'm going to be giving you to get your music library up and running like the, the whole reason why I'm making all these scripts is because I have gone through my music library at the at the time it was 10,000 tracks I've gone through every single I've gone through every single um track of mine and I've got the year from Google and the genre from Google like I've gone through that and I spent and I, I wouldn't say I wasted but I spent a lot of time sort out my music library but when tr true fact, I should be I should have been out DJing and practicing. So why I've so the reason why I've created these scripts is I don't want you lot to be sat there organizing your music library. I want you lot to be up and active and DJing and practicing and being on like um doing DJ routines and stuff like that. Like the whole sort out your music library thing is long. I know it's long. That's why I'm trying to build something so you like you, you lot don't have to do it. I've been there, right? So soon enough you'll be able to just run one of my scripts, you'll get all the genres, you'll get all the years, you'll be organized in an hour, then you can focus on, then you can focus on um, DJing. You can focus on putting out content on TikTok because sort out your music library, you might do, that, that, that's gonna take you a long time, but you could spend an hour creating a TikTok or whatever, and you can go viral. You gotta think of all these DJs that are getting millions of views on TikTok, but you're not because you're sorting out your music library. You're like a lot of DJs are worrying about their music library. Like, oh, I can't go out. I can't DJ this weekend because it's not organized. Oh, I don't want to start doing routines because my music's all everywhere. Da, da, da. Like, if I can just eliminate all of that for you, you can get out there and start DJing more, right? So that's that's my reasoning why I'm creating these scripts. But yeah, the reason why I started my YouTube channel was to help brand new DJs just go from literally bedroom DJ to club DJ as quick as possible, right? You need to know what happens inside a club. Like, 
you need to know as a DJ, you need to kind of have an idea of what goes on in the club. Like if you don't go to the club, if you're like a, a, a person that keeps themselves to themselves and you don't really go out that much, but you want to be a DJ, like I was, like you need to figure a way how to find out what happens in a club. So I, I've got all the tracks that are normally played inside a club or like for warm up and main set. So if I can give you those tracks, you're already going to be a step ahead of people that don't have them tracks. So when you go to the club, you already know what tracks are warm up because I've told you. You already know what tracks are main set at that time because I've told you. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to make the the, the beginner DJ's experience is so much better, like so much easier. Because when I started, yeah, it was long. It was so long. Do you know how long it is? Just like going to a club and just having no idea what you're doing because no one, no one wanted to tell you in it. Like so many people, were like, oh, figure it out for yourself, blah blah. Why don't you just tell me what a warm up track is? Why don't you just tell me what's in a what's a warm up folder? Give me a warm up folder, whatever, and then let me figure it out. Don't let me go into this club completely blind and let me have a, sh a terrible set. And oh, it's long, man. Like a lot of DJs, a lot of DJs are gatekeepers. They don't want to, um, they don't want to share knowledge because they don't want you to take their spot. Like you see me, I will share every single bit of knowledge to you lot, man. I do not care. Right? Anything you want to ask me, shout me. If you want to know what I sent to, um. My like my residency that got me my residency. I will tell you. Hi, my name is DJ CB. I'm looking for a uh, a weekly slot. Um, da, 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 da. here's my Instagram. Here's my Mixcloud. Blah 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 blah. Let me know if you're available. I have all the messages that I've sent to all these venues. Ninety nine percent of them ignored me, but one came back. If you want the message, if you want the template that I sent to a club that got me literally four years worth of work, give me a shout. Because you know what? I don't care. I would literally just, I, I like, I'm not going to keep back what I sent to a club because this is it's going to help out brand new DJs. A bunch of DJs always say to me like, oh, I don't know what to say to clubs. Ask me, ask me. I'll literally write the template out for you. It's, it's so straightforward. Um, gadget mic stems is one reason I'd want to upgrade, but I have some lag issues. So probably going for the M1. Yeah. So yeah, when I, so yeah. So I, like I said, I stepped back from stems. Um, I DJ so much better on, um, the old version of Serato. And I also feel like I start making pointless mashups when I have 3.0. So I kind of step back away from it. Um, I've been thinking of trying to do YouTube videos and things like that. I would just be using my iPhone 14 with a tripod to film, to be honest. Yeah, so DJ Gil, Gil Soto, I think that's how you pronounce it. So if you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel, just do it, right? Don't be afraid. Just get up and do it because everyone's first video is terrible. I wish I, wish I could even watch my first video, right? It's so cringe. I can't do it. But you got to think, my first video I posted, what, two years ago, maybe? I'm now at 20K subscribers in it because what happens is you do your first video, right? Also, like you said there, use your iPhone 14. Use your iPhone 14, it's fine because you don't want to go out and buy a 500 pound camera, right? To then record a video, it get one view and then you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Use what you have at home to build your YouTube channel um, and then you kind of, build up so basically i used my iphone 11 pro um i used that and i didn't have a microphone so i was just using the sound from the um the phone then over time i bought like a little microphone to increase the sound and then over time i bought a camera and stuff like that but what you need to do is just put out your first video you put out your first video then you're gonna get feedback someone's gonna say it's rubbish someone's gonna say the audio is terrible or whatever, then you put out your next video. But then your next video is going to be better because you want to improve every single time. So every time you put on a new video, there's going to be some sort of improvement. There's going to be an editing improvement. There's going to be the way you're speaking to the camera because the more videos you do, the more confident you get. So anyone that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, yeah, do it, literally. Like, I have got so many opportunities from this YouTube channel. It is mad, right? So many things are in the pipeline because of this YouTube channel. So... If you're considering creating a YouTube channel, you have a niche, you have like something you want to do, just do it. Get the video out as quick as possible and just keep putting out videos. At the, for, for, uh, the first, 
when you're starting your YouTube channel, qual quantity is better than quality. Just get out as many videos as you can and you're gonna figure out what video works and what subjects work. When you find a video that does well, double down on it. So say for example, you do a tips video on Serato, do another one, do another one, do another, keep doing them over and over. You get more views, more subscribers and the next thing you know, your channel will start to accelerate and then you can do live streams to 40 to 60 people on a Monday night or whatever, like, yeah. So DJ Dayday will back me up on this, right? If you want to do something, just go and do it. Like if you have a passion to go do something, you just go and do it because honestly, like you're only holding yourself back in it. Just go and do it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but you'll never know until you try in it. Um, so Jumo, um, ten ten dollars per thousand tracks. Let me write that down. Actually, do you know? What? Let me see. Ten ten dollars per thousand tracks. So let's do a little bit of math here. So, oh, oh my God! Why is this not working? Why can't I create a new note? Hang on, bear with me, people. How strange. All right, so $10 per thousand tracks, right? So, okay. Okay, that could work. That could work. That could work, okay. Um, Thank you. I'm ready for this service. Take my money. <laughs> um, The thing that people need to understand, though, with the script, right? I cannot get every single track. But what I will do is the tracks that are not marked with a year or a genre, they're going to be categorized into their own separate folder. So you can go um, check them out at a later date and do them manually. So you got to think. I might do... So you might have a 10,000 track music library, right? I, I can do 8,000 of those tracks, but you might have to do 2,000, right? But you got to think, how long would it take you to do 8,000 tracks yourself? I can do about 8,000 tracks in about 10 minutes, I think. You got to think, to, to get the year and the genre, for you to do it manually, you got to go to Google. You got to find a track that you want to get the year and genre for. Go to Google, type it in, get it, copy and paste it. It's long. It's long, yeah. So like, like I said, people, like the script, like obviously the script is good, but you need to kind of set yourself up for not every track's going to be, have a year or a genre. But what I can guarantee is that there's going to be a lot of, like you're going to save a lot of time. Because if you've got a 20,000 track music library and you try and get the years and genres manually for that, I'm sorry, but, I'm going to say, this is going to, that's going to take you a year. <laughs> I can do something you. It's going to take you in a year in what? Yeah, 20 odd minutes. So yeah, just, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there that like, not every track's going to be marked, but it's going to, they're going to be set into a different folder so you can look at them at a later stage. So it's a lot easier for you to go through. So yeah. Um, why does your through word pronunciation sound like you're saying the word flu? <laughs> through, through, oh my God. Through, 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 through. Maybe because I'm saying it so quick. Through, 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 through. I don't know. I'm using the MacBook Air M1 and the latest version of Serato and it works very good with stems. Stems are very fun for creating intros and also scratching acapellas. I agree. Good day, DJ CB from MDUS. Mo Berry, how you doing? Um... I just started a residency. How do you keep from playing the same songs each week? Oh, good question. Um, it's difficult with a residency, yeah, because it's the same people that come in every week in it. And then uh, once you've played there for so long, you kind of just know what songs um you kind of just know what songs the um the crowd wants. Um the way I get around it is um so I used to do a thing here where, do I have Serato open still? So what I used to do is, if I bring this, ooh, not that one. <laughs> so one way I got around it um, is I would use the, um, oh, hmm, let's think, does this work? 
no. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, Afrobeats. Oh, this one might work. Yes. Right, so basically what I would do is, say for example, your DJ set was um, September the 20th, 2022, right? So you get all the tracks from that. Um, actually, uh, hang on one second before I do all that. Let's take out all the color codes from my tracks. It's going to blow up my computer a bit. but Yeah. So yeah, so sorry. So basically, imagine you had a DJ set that was yesterday. So you go into your history um, and then what you do, you'd grab all the tracks from that day. So if I just get all those tracks, why I played them tracks in that order, I have no idea. Um, yeah, so you get them tracks and then, okay, this isn't going to work because it's the history. Right, hang on. Bear with me, people. Say, for example, you have 29th of September, 2023, right? And then on that day, you played... Uh, let me do this by number. So that day, you played all these tracks in that order. So you've gone to your DJ set and you've played all these tracks in your, this order, right? So from the start, you play Do It To It, you play Gangster's Paradise, you play Changes, blah, blah, blah. Highlight all these tracks red, right? So then when you go and play your set next week, you want to try and avoid the red tracks. That's literally how I used to... That I used to little play a little game with myself in it. So this is your history from your set, right? You then highlight all the tracks red. So now when you're going through your crate, so your, your DJ, how you need DJ normally. So for me, I do my opening, I do my warm-up, I do my main set. But you might be in warm-up, right? And you're DJing, DJing. There's this track here you played last week, so you try and avoid it. You see what's around it. Instead of playing Get Low, play Area Codes, if it works. Do you know what I mean? Scroll down, scroll down. You realise that, can I have it, Pharrell, you played last week. Skip it, and then play another track. So what you want to try and do is try and avoid the tracks that you played last week by marking them so you know what you played last week and then trying to find other tracks to play instead. That's how I would get around it. Um, 100%, I started YouTube last week and I'm loving the process. Yeah, Gadget Mike, um, you know what it is? I, I find like YouTube's a game. Like you put a video up, you, um, you, you have a look at the analytics and you're like, you know what? I need to level up and do better next week. Like honestly, YouTube, it's a tough game, man. It's a tough game because what you're doing is like, you'll, you'll make a video, you'll do the edit, you'll spend like two, three hours editing, you put it up and you might, you might not get any views. But that's just part of the game. It's part of the game. You really think I had views at the start of like when I started? Like you just have to just be, you have to want to do it. And you also shouldn't get into it for money. Um, you should do it because you want to do the subjects that you're doing if that makes sense so me i knew i wanted to help out um djs i didn't care about money at all i just knew i wanted to help out djs and when i had people messaging me saying you've helped me out so much it just motivated me more to um to make more content and then obviously the monetization came after that and then here we are today in it um I found stems to be a bit more of a gimmick after using it for a few months. It's handy when playing house tracks if they have some ad libs at the start of the track. Yeah, I, I know I know what you mean, Sean. That's why I've stepped back a bit because I felt like I was just using it for the sake of it. Don't get me wrong. Big up the Serato team and big up Serato stems because it's a, it's a powerful feature. It's a powerful, powerful feature. But I just don't use it as much as I want to because I feel like, I always feel like my computer's going to crash <laughs> whenever I use it. So I just kind of just stepped back away from it. Um... Oh, Gil like a fish, not like Jill. Okay, DJ Gil Soto. Which laptop stand are you currently using when you're playing out? Um, oh, this Pile USA. So when you first started, I guarantee everyone had the uh, the screw DJ stand in it. You know, you got the uh, 
the the two the, like I think it's like four poles and then the two sides and you screw them. All to, oh, do you know what? I ain't got time for that. Literally, I get to my DJ set now. Literally, just oh. ah, <laughs> do that, and then um, yeah, literally do that, and then that's it. And then when I'm done, oh my head, put it away, and that's it. Simple as that. I can't believe I just banged my head with a flipping stand. Ow. Um, what time is it? Bloody hell, quarter past 11. Um, thank you for your content. Have you drafted any scripts for Windows users, uh, Windows computers? Um, Mr. Clark, there is a Windows PC or Windows laptop oh, right here, right? <laughs> um, once I have everything sorted, I'm then going to just port it all over to um, Windows. So there will be Windows users able to use my scripts and stuff. I got you with a follow gadget mic. Um, where are we now? Uh, having trouble figuring out Having trouble figuring out how to start a DJ set at a club, always feel stuck on what to start with. A D D X N. We was actually we was actually talking about this at the start of uh, this live stream. Um, if you're struggling to know what to play at the start of a set, you need to start creating a, a crate for that. So if you see here, um, I call this opening. Um, like the opening crate. So these are tracks that you wouldn't play um, during your main main set or your warm up set. These are be, these are gonna be tracks that like you that these are gonna be tracks that you like yourself. But like say for example, a D, I don't know what music you like ADDXN, but like if you like old school R and B or old school hip hop, um, this you could put that in here. You could like you could play some old school Biggie, like some calm Biggie or something like that, or some calm two pack or anything like that. Any tracks that you know you're not going to play later on and it's nice, a nice calm track, you can play. But what I'm going to... So, again, people, there's so many things that I'm working on that I can't say just now, but basically all these problems that you all have, right, <laughs> I'm solving them. So, AD, ADDXN, if you're struggling to find out what songs to play at the start of the set, in a couple of weeks, I've got you, right? You'll be able to just... I've got you. So just just bear with me. Um, I have a, a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip. Yeah, I need to. So my work laptop is a M1 Mac Pro, I think it is, and that's powerful. Um, yeah, talking about DJ content for my YouTube channel, YouTube page. I was thinking of it for beginners. I've just been using my TikTok as YouTube Shorts currently. Do you rely on Camelot Wheel when playing your sets? Nope. I. As a um, as a hip hop R and B dancehall Afro beats DJ, I, I I'll put my hands up, yo. I don't use the key. I don't use key. So when I'm DJing, right? Let's have a look at some of these crates. So if I go into actually, where's my club classic one? When I DJ, I really, really just don't go by key, like. When you're playing house music, I really feel like key is important. But apart from that, right? Yeah, I don't know. What does everyone else, anyone else in the chat, do you do you mix by key? I'll openly say I don't. Like I'll just go by BPM and just by vibe. I don't really, like I feel like if I order it by key, like just nah, man. But these songs just don't go. I just don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really use the key. Um... Can you give us your playlist in M3U instead of PDF, Mr. P? Um, do you know what, Mr. P, do you know what's funny, right? I'm sure I added... Hang on. So, um, so Mr. P... <laughs> Um, I have got the um, so I've got CSV files. Um, if you want, like, I, I can add M3U if you really want to. Um, I can add M3U, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess I can do that. Um, 
I like stems because my Serato have a so if you want to get the bass, I can just do it with stems. Yeah. I'm just saying BPM genre. Yeah, I just don't mix by key. I just don't do it. I just can't, just can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, God. Right, what time is it? 20 past 11. Anyone else got any questions? We're sat here. 54, 54 people still in the chat, man. It's mad. I think when I first started doing live streams, I was getting like eight, nine people. But to have 54 people in for the whole time, it's, this this is great. This is good, man. Um... You're right for house, it's important because keys clanging in a long mix sounds terrible. With R&B, hip hop, it's about vibe, BPM and building energy. Um, yeah. Um, Mr. P, let me let me work on the M3Us and if I get that sorted, I'll send them over to you in it. Um, yeah, I can sort that out. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, God, I need to get a drink. My mouth is dry. Right, so people are people. I need to. I need to. Do you know? I need to take some time out to figure out how I'm gonna do this. This. This genre, genre years and getting all the DJs, all their genres and years, man. Like what I want to have is like a little tiny application, nothing too complicated on your computers, right? Literally, you just double click it, you point it to the folder that you want scanning, and it just does it for you. To, depending on how many tracks you have, it's, it might take half an hour, 10 minutes, hour. Do you know what I mean? Like, but hopefully, 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 um, I'll have something sorted soon. Um, can you send a link of the laptop stand? I can. Um, do you know what I, might, what I might do? I might just demonstrate the scripts if people are interested. Um, because some people in here might have not seen them, but it might get you guys excited and ready for them. Because I know a lot of people are DMing me. <laughs> um, one second. Pile laptop stand. Uh, this one here. Uh, Why am I logged in? Oh, hang on, people. Oh, why am I not logged into my Amazon? Um, one second. Um, do, 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 do. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Pile. Laptop stand. Copy. Hopefully this works. You know the feature where you can copy from your iPhone um, and paste it on the Mac is just, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Hang on. Um, oh man, copy. Paste. Oh, do you know what people? Hang on. <laughs> Bear with me. I'll, I will. I will get this sorted. I will get this sorted. Paste. Right. Wait. What can you not see? Let me just pull the. Um. Right. Here it is. Okay. All right, um, where's the chat here? Um, who asked me for it? DJ Gill. Um, there we are. There's the link. If anyone wants to buy the laptop stand, it's there. I will pin that to the top for now. Um, place pin message. Right, appreciate you. Thanks for all your insight, DJ Lawless TN. I can't wait. I'll pay for that service. Um, sent you Lou Boge. Oh, all right. Hang on, one second. 
Just me. Let's put that back now so you lot can just see me for the next however long. Um, oh my God, I'm lost. All right, hang on one second. Um, what do you think of Crate Hackers? Crate Hackers, Brian Nelson, is a great, great application, right? And yeah. Crate hackers. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about crate hackers in another video, in another live stream, because um, I'm still yet to go into crate hackers. I, the, the, what I've used so far, crate hackers is great, right? But I need to, I need to get into the software a little bit more, um, so I can understand it a bit more, and then I'll give you my real verdict, my proper verdict on it. Um, Brian Nelson, what do you think of crate hackers? Um, also, does anyone here in the chat know about Crate Hackers? Is anyone aware of that? Um, Lou Boge, Lou Boge, I, I, you know, I can't even pronounce your name, but let's have a look at my Wii transfer. So if anyone's wondering what Lou just said, he just sent me his music library to organize, right? So if I have a look at my received, <clears throat> I see it right now, 126 gig. Oh, 14,000 tracks. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Cool. I mean, I won't be able to do that live on this live stream because I need to um, clear out some space. But I've got quite a few music libraries here I need to go through, man. Um, right. Um, real ones know to have the dock on the right-hand side. Um, Gadget Mike, what software do you, are you live streaming with? I'm live streaming with um, OBS. Um, OBS is um, the software I'm using. Um, I love Crate Hackers. It's a lifesaver. It's cool when you run out of playlist ideas. Yeah, love Crate Hackers. Spend hours going down rabbit holes with all the crates they have. Yeah. Yeah, so like like I said, I've only um, had a quick look at Crate Hackers, but obviously you know me, I'm a music library geek, so they are their their software is literally for me. But I need to sit down and go through it. Um, then once I've gone through it, then maybe we can talk about it online. Um, yeah. Oh God, right. So, so we end off the um, the live stream of just showing showing some scripts. Showing some 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 of the stuff I've worked. I think everyone. I think majority of people have seen it anyway. Um, but let me just delete all this stuff out of Serato. Actually, let me delete that. Oh my god! Library management is a number one priority. Oh my! God. Do you know what? VJ hurts. If I could retweet that. <laughs> Honestly, I'm. Do you know what it is with me? Yeah, I'm just so obsessed with having a clean music library. It's actually mental. Um. So, um, how should we do this? How should I demonstrate this to you guys? Um. You know what we're gonna do, right? Lou, they're probably um it's probably all the extra files from um like iTunes and record box and something like that in it. So it's fine. I'll have a look at it. Um Right, let me have a look. Let's think. How can I demonstrate this to you guys? Um Can we do a chat on how to get my OBS running correctly? Um yeah, Fleetwood, just give me a shout. Um I do have, hang on, do I have a YouTube video on that? Twitch, 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 yeah. Um, Fleetwood Jones, if you're trying to get up and running with Twitch, I do have a video on that on my channel. Just search um, how to live stream with Twitch, um, DJCB. You should be able to find it. Um, how shall I do this? Right, so... What we're going to do first, I was going to just do that a minute ago, but if I, bear with me people, wrong screen. 
Um, it's a clear genre. Um, do, 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 do. What am I doing? Game five. Oh, music two. God, we might be on here for an extra hour. Why not, eh? Why not? Let's just, let's just chat. I mean, like I said, I gotta be up at like <laughs> five a.m. But five six a.m. But it's all good. Right. So yeah. So what I might do now is I might just demonstrate for the people that don't know about what I've been working on, the scripts I've been working on, I can just demonstrate with the library I've got on my computer at the moment. Um, so that's cleared. And then, sorry, I'm just sorting out a few things before I share my screen. Yeah, so what I'm doing is just, I'm just getting rid of all the genres in the years for my music library, um, just so you can get an idea of what's going on. Um, oh, boy. So basically, yeah. So like I said, Lou has sent me his music library. Um, and I'm going to organize it so it's nice and clean for him. Um, so he has all the genres, all the years. His folders are all nice and cleaned up and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. So basically, if I share my screen, we still got 40 people in the chat. It's half past 11, but who cares? <laughs> Um, right, so everyone can see my Serato, right? So if I just go to files and go to rescan ID free tags, everything should start to say no genre and zero, zero years. So just give it about two minutes. Oh, I should really move myself actually, innit? Um, one second, people. Um, where would I be better placed? Here, right? <laughs> or up here. Actually, now nah, here would be better. Right. Um, special James Champion. Oh, I was just about to read that. Um, do -do 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 -do. Right, am I in a better place now? Hang on. Come on, man. Right, so everyone can see my Serato right now, right? So say, for example, you're a DJ, you haven't got your music library organized. Your music library is going to be something like this. Not quite, but it's going to say, it's not going to have the genre of the track and it's not going to have the year. So if you see down all these tracks, right, there's no genre, the year is zero, 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 the things are empty or whatever. So you see every single track, every single track in here, yeah? No genre, no genre, whatever. And then there's a bunch of, crap here at the bottom um so let me just get rid of all these um come on shift delete right so yes my friend is complaining about ddj rev one software all right special james let me just run through this quickly and then um i will go through that so everyone can see that these tracks have um no genre whatever right everyone's aware of that so what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to just remove all these tracks out of Serato, right? So actually before, you can see that all these tracks don't, that there's no tracks inside these um, genre crates, right? Apart from that one. But yeah, so then everything's going to be inside no genre, right? There's no genre set for all these tracks. So I'm just going to just delete everything out of Serato. Goodbye. All right? No tracks in here whatsoever. So... What we're going to do first is just head over to our music folder. Um, so all my music lives inside here. So every single track I have lives in here. Um, and I just don't feel like this is this 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 is good enough, right? You don't know what tracks are R&B tracks. You don't know what tracks um, are hip hop, commercial, whatever. And I just feel like this isn't great. So the first thing... I'll run is um, analyze my MP3 library, right? So what this will do 
is if I come back out, get the folder structure, right? Right, so what it's gonna do is gonna analyze this library. It's gonna tell me how many tracks are in here, what genres I have, blah, 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 blah. So if we just open that up so everyone can see. Oh. Do, 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 do. Right, so you can see here that, actually no, you lot probably can't see because it's so small. Shock, what's going on, bro? What are you saying? What are you doing up, man? Bloody hell. Ain't it past your bedtime, fam? Um, so, yeah, so you can see here that this music library has 12,000 tracks that have no genre, and there's 12,000 tracks that, ha that are all MP3s, right? Um, this bit at the bottom, do I want to move the missing tracks, tracks of acapella and tracks into instrumental to separate folders? What I'm going to do is, what this will do is this will separate all my acapellas and instrumentals, right? So, I'm just going to press yes. And it's going to do a whole load of magic, a whole load of madness. It's going to move my acapellas, move my instrumentals um, out of here, right? So if I just undo that. So that's all done. So if I close this up now and I go back into this folder and I go here, you can see that there's new folders being created. Acapella, instrumental, um, other files, which nothing's in there and then missing metadata. So these are tracks that haven't got a title or a artist, but you can see here that they're all my mixes, which is fine, right? So what we're gonna do is just move these files out, just one folder quickly, and leave them here, put them into a folder called to sort, right? Then inside this, so the next thing we need to do is we need to scan, um, so we've cleared all the years, cleared all the genres. Now what we need to do is just get all the genres and all the years for our tracks, right? So what I'm going to do, see this is now going to take, this shouldn't take that long actually. This should take about 10, 15 minutes. I'll do another q and It's calm. So I'll do that, put that path in. And then, so basically what it's going to do, it's going to go to that folder where all my music is and then it's going to scan each and every track for the, um, the genre and the year. So you see here it says number of tracks in the MP3 folder, 12,307. Do you want to scan? Yep. Then literally we'll just sit here and wait for this to run. And this is going to mark all my tracks with the year and the genre. So if I go up a little bit, you can see that, um, for example, uh, track EI Nelly, um, it's fetched the year 2000. It's been updated. And then the genre is hip hop rap. Same thing with Chris Brown with you. With you, Chris Brown, um, it's marked as R and B. It came out in 2007, right? So yeah. So what it's gonna do, it's just gonna run for however long. So we just leave that to run. And then we'll come back to that when it's all finished. Um yeah, Corey Campbell, what source files or APIs are you using for the metadata? Um Spotify, literally Spotify. Um, so yeah, so we laid that to run. So whilst that's running in the background, I will switch myself back over to just me. Uh, just me, just me, just me. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sweating, boy. Um, yeah. So does anyone have any questions? Um, we got about 10 minutes whilst that runs. So I'll just leave that running in the background. Um, how do you set the subgenres though? So I can set the sub so for hip hop, hip hop I can set the subgenres. House I can set the subgenres. I haven't done R and B as of yet, but for hip hop, basically um, it will put the subgenres in another column. So say for example, you've got like ATL hip hop, or you've got West Coast hip hop, or East Coast hip hop. It will put them into a separate column, separated by a comma. So if you wanted to do a, a smart crate based on East Coast um, hip hop, you can create a smart crate, um, go into the, the, the column name, go in, uh, column name contains East Coast hip hop, and it will find that, find those tracks and then put them into um, a smart crate for you. So I've sorted that out. I'm going to be doing it for more and more genres as I go along. Um, but yeah. So, Mr. P, what's your favorite DJ pool? Uh, my favorite DJ pool is Heavy Hits. Um, 
if you want to get your first month for four ninety nine, use the code DJCB. Um, and yeah, do that. Um, duh, 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 duh. yeah. Oh my god, it's hot. But yeah, so that script shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm just gonna just wait for that to run in the background. Just have a look at what's going on on my phone. Who's emailed me? But yeah, anyone got any more questions? We've still got 26 people in the live stream, so we can keep going. We're going to keep going until I've finished organising this library. And then I'm going to get to sleep because I've literally got to wake up early in the morning. Well, how long we've we been on for? Almost two hours. Oh, boy. Mm. Right. I'm going to be going now, mate. Cheers for advance to my music library whenever you get a chance. Yeah, Lou, don't worry. I'm going to be doing that at some point this week. I'll give you a shout. Um, yeah, I'll give you a shout in a bit. Actually, that... Do you know what? I'm going to write a quick note down. Hmm. Oh, boy. Right. So, yeah, someone said to me, pricing structure. There was like $10 per 10,000, no, $10 per 1,000 tracks. What does everyone think of that? What does everyone think of the tracks that were marked um, $10 or £10 per 1,000 tracks? If you've got a big music library, though, yeah, it's a lot of money. What do you do with tracks that are like from SoundCloud, which is not in the Spotify API database? Um, so Corey, what that would what that would do is it would just mark um, that track as either the genre as other or the genre as no genre. Because the thing is, I can't I can't cater for tracks that are not in the Spotify database. Um, yeah, I can't I can't cater for those tracks because. Spotify is not going to have every single track in the world. And like things like remixes and stuff like that, like DJ edits and stuff. I obviously can't get the, um, I obviously can't get the, um, I obviously can't get the track for a mashup. Because if you've got a mashup that is two songs, like it might be like a really current song that came out in 2022 mixed with a song from the 1980s. It's like, it's like what track do you, what track, what year do you, what track, what track do you pick the year from? If that makes sense in it. Do you know what I mean? So I just, I just mark it as other because I can't, you can't, you can't determine it. You can't determine what year, year or genre it is. Um, in the meantime, what can I use until you get your program up and running? Brian Nelson, there's, there's programs, that, there's a lot of companies that do, do the same kind of thing. Like um, you've got Lexicon, You've got Music Brains, Picard. Um, there's a bunch of softwares out there. Um, it's just just a matter of just getting them downloaded and trying them out. Um, VJ Hurts, what if I have like 2K tracks? If you have 2,000 tracks, that would only be, what, $20? Sounds sounds all right to me. Um, got your make sense. Best DJ, best software to use for DJing. Serato DJ Pro. <laughs> Serato DJ Pro is the best DJ software. Who wants to argue? Literally, I've got what? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, yeah? We can sit here and argue about Serato DJ Pro versus Rekordbox or Virtual DJ. I don't really want to talk about Virtual DJ too much because I made a video on that and oh my God, the entire Virtual DJ community came for me. So yeah, so yeah. Does anyone in the chat use Virtual DJ? Actually, do you know what I might? You know, what? I might. I might even download it again and try it out again. I feel like I, I feel like I didn't give it a proper chance. Yeah, I didn't give it a proper chance. So maybe um I might try it again next time. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I need to get a drink. I'm so thirsty. But so let's have a look at this. So from this live stream, I've had 400 views. Right, 401 now actually. 
Hang on. Yeah, you lot are doing sick. I think it's this this might be my next best um live stream. Hang on. Chat rate. Yeah, VJ Hurt, Sarai wins. I don't even know how I got started. To be honest, I did start on Virtual DJ. Um, I did start on Virtual DJ, but then I stopped DJing for a little while. Then I, yeah, I just went straight to Serato. I used DJ or Serato. Do you know what? Gadget Mics, DJ used to be so good, right? When they had Spotify integrated into it. I remember using it. It was so good, but I think they had to take Spotify out of it because of like licensing or whatever. Some of the other programs don't always identify the genre. Yeah, so Brian, the thing is, right, so the way I've done mine is is a little bit different um, to other softwares, and I'll explain it at a later date once I've got everything sorted. Um, but yeah, I'll put a lot more, like, logic into the script that, so that it actually gets the proper genre. Um, yeah, because, I don't know, I don't know about you lot, yeah, but, like with genres in your music library, I feel like you should only have a set amount of genres. So if, say for example, like, you know, like when you when you scan for genres and stuff like that, you might get like hip hop and then you've got hip hop R&B, hip hop rap, um, I don't know, contenary con, R&B. Then you've got all these different sub genres, right? You just want to have basically in your genre column for your... Um, in your music library, you just want to have one set of genres, R&B, hip hop, dance or Afro beats. You don't want to have R&B hip hop. You don't want to have Afro beats slow or Afro beats fast. You just want to have one set genre, right? Then if you want to categorize down, like say for example, you want to have like ATL hip hop, use another, like you need to use another column so you can sub genre, but you should always just have a set amount of genres. R&B, hip hop, dance or house, rock, commercial, I'm a piano, whatever, all the main genres. And yeah, if you want to subcategorize down, um, yeah. $10 per thousand tracks. What if your library is 18,000 tracks? That is, oh my God, my maths is terrible. 180? 100, is that 180? Yeah. Um, but AD, ADDXN, like I said, right, I'd, um, that, that's not finalized. Someone just put that, in the um someone just put that in the group in the chat so i'm just I, I was just kind of just working out how numbers would be if i actually did that but it would be one of them things like the bigger the music library the more discount you'd get or something like that i don't know i need to work it out um spotify's out but i use tidal instead now um i use both which is annoying but find to write to be the most stable and easiest to organize with due to a lot of little things it does really well key commands seem to just make sense as well yeah the key commands in Serato I love them man literally I know I, sh I think I know all the shortcuts in Serato and like I don't know about you lot but like do you lot drag you know like um when you're DJing do you pick up the song from the li the library bit and drag it over to the deck or do you press command left and right to load your track? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, what effects do you use the most when you're mixing on Serato DJ Pro? So with effects on Serato, I don't use the um, I don't use the software effects. I use the hardware effects on my mixer. So. On my DJM S9, I've got its own, it's got its own echo, reverb, etc. I hate, hate <laughs> the inbuilt um, software effects in Serato. They just sound, they don't sound great. Um, but the effect, if we're talking just about effects in general, I will use echo at a half a beat, um, reverb at 50%. Um, Reverb, 50%. Then we've got... I'll use backspin sometimes. Um, I use I use backspin sometimes, but not all the time. But yeah, the two the two main effects I use is echo and reverb. Um, I use them for like when I scratch out or when I'm transitioning or whatever. Um, 
yeah, I mix very weird. So, yeah, I use the effects in weird ways. Um, I have to disable shortcuts as I have clumsy fingers. Uh, command left, right, command left, right. Yeah, honestly, command left, right is the best thing. It's just so quick. It's just so quick. I, I literally just only have to use command right because I instant double. Um, I instant double. So literally, I'll, yeah. If you don't know about instant doubling, you know about instant doubling. AP Pistol, in terms of mixes, what works best for you? TikTok. Ooh. What's my highest? Let me have a look at TikTok, actually. So, my best TikTok. 10.1K. One, like a really basic, basic routine that was poorly recorded poor sound got quite a few views so i got forty-two thousand views on one video i think that's the most hang on 21k 25k i didn't even realize i had all these numbers hang on um 10 20k um yeah, so my highest performing one. Oh my god, forty k. Yeah, and this one wasn't even that great. It was actually poorly executed. Um, yeah, weird. Um, right. Um, how do you use loop rolls? Um, so VJ hurts. I don't use the loop roll. I use the slicer effect on. I I use a slicer um, in Serato DJ Pro. Um, this is also why I haven't moved away from um, my S9 because when you go up to the S9, uh, S7, S5, and the S11, they don't have the slicer effect anymore. Um, so yeah, so. I use a slicer for transitioning out quite a bit and a few of my tricks. So, yeah, moving away from my S9, I don't know if I could do it just yet. But, yeah, I don't really lo use loop rolls. I would, if if I had to move away from my S9, I would probably use loop rolls a bit more. If, if you have a one terabyte SSD, how many songs would you have on it? Good question. Um, if I was to get, if I was to get, um, a one terabyte SSD, right? I wouldn't necessarily try and fill it up as much as possible. I would literally just move my music library over, but I wouldn't necessarily be cleaning up as much as I am now because I'm cleaning up now to make space. But if I've got a one terabyte SSD hard drive, right? I don't need to make space, but I wouldn't just go and put two pack discography on my MacBook just because I have space, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I, I, I really think that you don't really need um, to have that many tracks in your music library, man. Like, I got thirteen thousand, and I, I feel like that's too much. Like, I'm an open format DJ. I can DJ at any event really, and I have thirteen thousand tracks, so I think I'm good. Um, speaking of mixing, do you have any mixes put out? Yeah, A D D X N. Um, let's have a look. I have a whole mix cloud. Um, why does it keep signing me out? Login. Oh, I don't even know my bloody password. Ah, I'm in. Great. Um, <gasps> how do I share this? Um, oh my God. Dashboard. No, hang on. I'm going to go to my page. My profile. Here we go. Um, live streaming. So, ADXN. ADDXN. So, I'll pin that one today. So, yeah. So, that's my... So, ADX, ADDXN. That's my Mixcloud account. So, if you want to check out my mixes, check them out. DJ Link, what's good, bro? Um, Jack Raynor S9 is top tier. S9 is the best controller ever. <laughs> um, I want to learn how to record live mixes with the best quality audio and video. Can you talk about your process? Um, okay, I want to learn how to record live mixes. So, 
audio wise, just record through your software. So if you're using Serato DJ Pro, just record. Um, video wise, how long do you want to record the video for? Because I don't know a camera that's going to last six hours. <laughs> um, what I have um, to record like video is, well, one of my friends has it, but I have a GoPro. So basically, um, I set the GoPro up in a in a decent location in the club uh, or next to me. And then when I know I'm going to do a really good transition or I know the crowd's going to be quite active, I'll, I'll set record on my phone. So you can have the camera like away from you, but you can just press record on your phone and then that, it will start to record. Then you do your trick or whatever and then you... Um, you do your trick or whatever and then you you can just turn off the recording and you can just keep doing that throughout the night but what you do need to have is spare batteries so like i've been through i think like three gopro batteries in one night at a set before because i've just rinsed it um so you kind of just need to be prepared um but yeah so then what you'll do is you'll get the video and you'll have the audio from your serato then you'll just merge them together you'll synchronize the audio in like final cut pro and you can put out content with your live mixes and that will give you the best audio, I think. I think that answers your question. Waris, what's good, bro? Um, this may be something you couldn't advise on. I I need a, ideally free WAV to eighth convert as WAV files are a nightmare for metadata. Um, bro, literally, all I would do is I would take that sentence, WAV to eighth converter, put that into Google, and there's a site literally here in front of me called wav converter drop here yeah so there's this convert yo and come out of there um there's that um free convert yeah so max file size one gig sounds good to me Um, a quick guide on how to record using OBS Studio. Um, record what? Like, the thing is, I use o um, OBS for streaming. So it's not like a recording. This is just like outputting to different platforms and stuff like that. Um, but you can record in, you can, you can record in OBS. You can literally just press the record button in it. Um, um cb appreciate your sharing your methods no problem bro mark i'm here to help every single dj in the entire world like when i first started this live stream yeah there was people from all over the world i couldn't believe it people in the uk america sri lanka i think it was south africa man it's crazy so i'm here to help every single dj in the entire world i don't care where you are what you're doing i'll be able to help you in some way I have a master external with everything structured the same way. Example, folders, genres, two subfolders, one single. And I take what I want to a gig with the same way I use it. See, Shumzuki. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good name. Um, yeah. Two subfolder, one single, an album. I take what I want to a gig. I do you know what? I know we're in a in an age where MP3, we have MP3s on our music library and stuff like that, yeah. Um, but you kind of need to treat your music library as if um, you need to treat your music library as if you were carrying a physical crate to a DJ set. Like you got your crate, right? Why are you carrying a bunch of tracks that you're not going to play? So it's the same in your Serato. Look at your Serato crate, your R&B crate. Why is there tracks in there that you're not going to play? Because all you're going to end up doing is scrolling through this, this crate scrolling through all the junk, but why don't you take all that junk out? Do you get it? Like, you're not going to, like, if you had a heavy ass vinyl case, right? Like, what are you going to do? If it's too heavy for you to carry, what are you going to do? Take the tracks that you're not going to play out. It's the same thing with um, MP3s. But the thing with MP3s, is like, obviously you can have as much as you can because it's all digitalized or whatever, but you need to treat your crates on your computer the same way you would if you was going to a DJ set um, with physical vinyl. Can you show the structure of your Serato crates and sub crates? I messed it up last time. Um, Brian, it's a bit late now because I've literally been on for two hours, but 
maybe I can do that tomorrow. I might come online tomorrow. Um, I'm free all week apart from Thursday when I got my kids. And Friday I'm DJing and Saturday I'm DJing. So I might, you know, I might live stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might live stream for the next three days. So yeah, I can do my um my crate structure. The thing is though, like my current crate structure that I have, I'm actually changing. Um, because I think do you know what? I think I've found the perfect crate structure. Like I've been doing music library music library organization for so long, right? Um I think I've found the best way to do it. So yeah, I need to sort it out. So hopefully in about two weeks time, I'll have my new my new structure sorted that I can share with you guys and then we'll go from there. Um, do you think making playlists on energy levels of a track is a good idea? Um, it's good if it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, organize my music library based on that completely, but I would have crates based on energy levels. Like I'll give an example, right? And I always, always use it. Um, when you play Pop Smoke Dior, right? Um, that's a high energy track. And I always struggle. I always, always struggle when I play Pop Smoke Dior, right? Because what happens is you play Pop Smoke Dior and everyone goes mad. What songs do you follow it up with? Right. So, but if you have a high energy hip hop crate with Dior in there, all those tracks should hopefully match Dior. So, in that crate, it could be like um, Pop Smoke Dior, Welcome to the Party, Jump Man, Mo Bamba, uh, Look at Me, um, XXX Temptation, or whatever his name is. All those tracks. You want to have all those tracks together. So, yeah creating playlists based on energy levels for certain scenarios yeah but i wouldn't just have like low energy tracks high energy tracks and medium medium energy tracks as your overall structure if that makes sense i never truly use slicer what's some of the tricks you do um jack what do what, 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 what video do you reckon i should show him eh? um to be honest this might oh my highest, my highest played TikTok, um, I could share to you. So, um, sh how do I just copy a link? Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, Fleetwood Jones. It's literally what I've been. So basically, all the meetings I've had in my, uh, all the meetings I've had with DJs, music library consultations, you lot have first hand on the new structure. You get it, so yeah. But I'm the one. I'm 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 lacking because I'm helping everyone else, but I'm not doing my own library. But yeah, now Fleetwood Jones is literally what I what we were talking about. It's just all about having warm up tracks, main set tracks, opening tracks. But don't worry, Fleetwood Jones, you're good. Right, that's a TikTok there that I use Slicer. Um, I don't really like that video, but it's what it is. Um, where else do I use slicer? Oh, actually, hang on. This one, I think. Hang on, no. And that one. <laughs> so there's that one. Um, do your boy. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. And this could demonstrate the uh, GoPro camera as well, actually, Jack. Well done. Well done. Um, da, 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 this one. Stop rapping and re offended. You know when the track needs mending. Too much mixing the bruisey. All right. And that one. Nah, do you know what, Jack? We're not going to put times one on here because he's going to show us all up, man. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Nah. 
Oh, I don't. I don't have the um, the lean and bop one in it. I don't have the lean and bop one. So, yeah. If anyone wants to see my boy time, do you know what actually? <laughs> um, Instagram times two. Instagram forward slash times two. If you guys want to see a real, real, real wizard DJing, right? You you go check this guy out. Go check this guy out. Oh, oh my god, his script is still running. Oh, oh I've just sent someone back their music library and this guy seems very, very happy. <laughs> So yeah, people, if you want to send me your music library um, for me to organise, I'm here. <laughs> um, if you want to have a meeting with me, um, one-to-one, I'm here. Um, yeah, if you want to check me out on Instagram, you know my Instagram is, at DJC underscore B. Um, where are we at? Oh, God, hang on. I've got Intelligent Playlist that linked energy to the next track and the current song that allows me to change the mood of a set on the fly. Oh, sick. Um, What's your preferred door program? Would you set up a private one on one sesh for an hourly rate? What's your preferred door program? Would you set up a private one on one session for... Oh, would you set up a private one on one session for an hourly rate? My preferred door, I think that's... Door, that's yeah, that's Logic Pro. Logic Pro. Um, do you want to have a one to one session on Logic Pro or music library organization? Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Um, cool. Why is this music library taking so long? Oh my god, it's so late, it's 12 o'clock. I need to go to the gym at, in like seven hours, oh. but we good, let it run. Oh. Right, any more questions? Any more? Any more? I'm just going to go quickly go run and grab a drink. So just bear with me. I'm just going to just do that and then do that. Back in one second. Hello again. Uh, yes, because I want to learn how to create basic mashups, create mashups and basic stuff. Um, okay. Um, Ricky, hit me up on Instagram at DJC underscore B. And we can set up a meeting. Do you know what? Like a lot of people have hit me up and said, oh, should we do, um, should we do, can you do like a mentoring one-to-one -one. I don't know if people want me to be their mentor um but if that's something people are interested in let me know <laughs> um because if you if you want me to come you know what let's what would a DJ mentor entail DJ mentor How can I find a DJ mentor? Hmm. Hi CB, can you do the music library tags for Windows? Yeah, I'm working on it. It's um, the computer's here to do it. I just haven't got around to doing it just yet. Um, but tomorrow, 
I should have made a lot of progress on something. So, yeah, just bear with me. Just bear with me, bear with me. But, yeah, um, does anyone else have any other questions? Oh, here we go. How do you get recommend? How do you recommend getting gigs at 16? Do I build a social media presence and just wait until I'm 18 or try it and somehow get gigs similar to ones I want to play in the future? Um, so Lewis Wells, right? So if I was you at 16, I would do birthday parties, weddings, and like stuff like that. Um So, yeah, so basically, as a 16-year-old, obviously, because you can't get into clubs, I would do all your do all the parties, your birthday parties, your stuff like that, but record yourself playing at them. So, like, people know that you're able to kind of DJ to a crowd or whatever. Um, and then build up your, yeah, build up your portfolio and build up your social media presence by posting all these videos from your parties. So then when it comes to when you turn 18, you can just show the clubs you know how to control the crowd. Do you get it? So then you start reaching out to them. Hopefully by that time, you'll have your music library sorted out. You know about warm up tracks, you know about main set tracks because I will be drilling it into you on all these videos. Um, so yeah, so as a 16 year old, honestly, try and do people's birthday parties. Try and do your mate's birthday parties. But I will say, when you're a new DJ and you're starting out, right? You It's weird, but like, when you try and tell your friends that you're a DJ, it's like you get laughed at slyly. It's mad. Like, everyone's like, ha ha, DJ, yeah? Da, da, da. Like, it's, oh, oh man, I hate it. I hate it. But then when they see you in like five years' time, they're like, bro, that DJ thing was serious, man. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, so like maybe don't play at your, um, your friends' birthday parties or whatever, but try and do like family parties or like a family friends party in it. Do the first couple for free. And then go there, smash it, and then start charging. I'd say. Then when you get the money, you start um, you start getting um, you start getting money. You start buying speakers and stands and lights and stuff like that. Improve your setup, and then yeah. Um, I've had a small ones in the past. I've had small ones in the past, but aren't the genres I see myself taking in the future. A mentor to me would be like refining the student's scratch techniques. That's what I need. Do you know what, right? I'd love to teach people how to scratch, but I don't even know how I taught myself. <laughs> I watched a few videos, but like I never ever finished the actual videos and the tutorials. Um, I kind of just winged it. And then over time, I've just got better and better. But like the, the problem with me yeah, is... I'll do a load of scratch practice. I won't get any better. And then I, I won't practice for like three weeks. I'll jump back on my decks again and I've magically got better. It's weird. It's so strange. Um, I played at my year's prom a few weeks ago, but couldn't get any videos. Yeah. See, Lewis, you kind of need to take someone with you just to take get videos or... Yeah, if, like obviously, if you if you're 16, you probably can't afford a, a a GoPro or whatever. But like, you need to try and do you know what you could do, Lewis? Get do you know what we're gonna we're all gonna help out Lewis here. Yeah, get a tripod, right? Get a tripod um, that stands that's just behind you in your in at your DJ set, and just whenever there's a hype moment or a big moment, just go to the camera press record and just let it record and you do your thing and whatever. Like if no one can come with you, just, just literally just, um, set a, set a tripod up and, uh, record yourself. Um, so I currently have a residency at a nightclub where the bar owners don't really care which DJs play a main room when I'm downstairs. I'm I'm complimented to be upstairs. How do I show? Oh, I, Oi, hey, Jack, Beanie's situation, yeah, is literally what me and you have both been through in it. <laughs> um, so I currently have a residency at a nightclub where the bar owners don't really care who plays main room. When I'm downstairs, I'm I'm complimented to be upstairs. How do I show my club's worth? Um, Beanie, do you know what? I've experienced it. Um, it is a massive waiting game, unfortunately. It's a massive waiting game. The main room DJ has probably been there for X amount of years and the, the owners probably don't want to get rid of him because they know the crowd, they know this, they know that. 
So it's literally a waiting game. I, me, I waited four years. Four years, I was the, the, um, the second room DJ. Then after four years, I managed to go up to the next one because the, the main room DJ had a baby and he left, right? So management's not going to just get rid of the DJ because imagine you was a DJ, yeah? And the manager was like, yeah, nah, no more work for you. Like, that's them, like, DJ own. sorry, bar owners don't want to take work away from um, DJs. So if there's a DJ there, main room, they're going to be there for a very long time until they decide to um, to leave. And the thing is, as a DJ yourself, you just, you can't, you, you can't go up there and push them out in it because how would you feel if they, someone did it to you? So you just need to be patient. Like as much as, it, like it's it's good that everyone's recognizing how good you are, but just keep it up. Just keep doing it. Keep smashing it. Because eventually you're going to need to cover that main room DJ when he needs a night off. Then when you get that main room slot, you make sure you smash it. Now, where's my Instagram? <laughs> I don't know if I've got the video up still, but um, do I still have it? So I'm going to try and show you a video of when I covered main room for my venue. And oh my God, what a night. Um, oh, it's not even here. Ah, uh, reels is it in here. Bear with me, people. I think it was one of my stories, but anyways, the night was sick, and um, yeah, smashed it. Um, yeah, originally people. We're all taking a piss a few years ago, but okay, here we go. Yeah, originally people were taking a piss a few years ago, but after I played prom for our year, people were actually taking me seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what? It's so funny, man. It's so funny how every DJ goes for it, man. Like everyone, everyone's friends take the piss. Everyone's friends take the piss at the start, and then they're like, oh shit, they're, they're, they're actually serious about it. But it's, it's so funny, man. Um, all right, hang on. Marley, then, oh, hang on, Jack. Then you get gigs and the man didn't want to roll through. You didn't want to know before. Yeah, literally, trust me. Been We've all been there. Uh, Marley, I sent you a message on IG. All right, I'll sh have a look at it in a minute. What are the best starter speakers? Are you talking about bedroom DJ speakers or if you're a performing DJ out? Um, how do you organize the perfect library? Drip, I'm about to show you in a minute. Um, we currently rotate main room, which I don't mind, but whenever it's open to the downstairs lounge, it's empty. I want to cater to a different crowd, but it's very frat party city. Any suggestions? I want to cater to a different crowd. Um, so what, so Beanie, uh, I'm trying to brand it as a culture room, but there's mostly dance or Latin Afro, but it's difficult to get that audience out. Um, Beanie, are there events and stuff in your city that you want to play at? Because if so, go to those events and get to know the promoters and the DJs there. Um, right. So this script's done now, by the way, people. So let's flip this over so I can go to bed in a minute. Right. So you can see here, this is all finished, right? So now, um, if we have a look here, if I go to new tab, right? So at the moment, all my music has been updated, right? So you can see here on under date modified, something's happened, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just open this up to over here, open this up to over here, right? So I want you all to look clearly. My eyes look red in it. Um, hang on. Um, I want you lot to look clearly on this. So basically the last thing of organizing the music library now is to move all these tracks on the left-hand side um, into their genre folders. So I have a script that does it all for you, right? So I'm gonna double click this and then I need to get the, um, the folder path of this folder. So I'm just gonna just grab this, right? So basically, Keep an eye on the left hand side. 
Nope, that's still times two. <laughs> Hang on. One second, people. Right. So, everyone keep an eye on the left-hand side. So, you see here, look, no folders in here whatsoever, yeah? No folders whatsoever. All MP3 tracks. Oh. This is how you should have your music library organised. Right, so you see a folder called All Music here. Open this up. We now have here yeah, Afrobeats, Amma Piano, Bassline, Classics, Commercial, Dancehall, Drum and Bass, Garage, Hip Hop, House, Latin, No Genre, Other, R&B, Reggae, Soca, Soul, UK Music, right? Someone asked, how do you organize the perfect music library? I'm sorry, but if your music folders don't look like this or your folders don't look like this, you, it's not perfect, right? So you can see in here it has all the Afro beats, in here it has all the dance hall and stuff like that. Um, so then all we need to do now is all those tracks in all music just... So actually, first of all, you see in here, all these subgenres are empty, right? I'm moving all music wait like two minutes for Serato to process everything. And then now I can go into 2024 and you can see that, uh, hang on, bear with. Ah, ah, what's going on? Right, let me just wait for Serato to just sort out all this music. Whoa. Come on. Do, 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 do. Right, so now in Serato, um, I don't know why that one came out, but 2024. So now you've got Garage, you've got Dancehall, all your Dancehall in here now. Drum and bass, house, hip hop, everything's moved into their own smart crates because all these tracks have um, genres. So now if you look at, you see earlier, everything had no genre and no years. Tracks have years now. 1987, 1999, blah, 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 blah. Like all this, yeah. Do you organize just Serato or can you do record box library? Lightspeed Entertainment, I can do a record box library quite straightforward. Um I might do you know, I might do a demo of that actually. I might just do both. Um Yeah, I don't do I have record box on there? Hmm. I mean I'd have to create all the smart crates, but it's it's the same concept or came same idea. Oh my god, they've been on it for two and a half hours. Oh. Right, so that's the that's the right sorted. Um, yeah, out soon. All this stuff is coming to you guys soon. Just <laughs> bear with me. Um, record box now. I don't even know how this is gonna work. Close. Um. Yeah, so all I would do, oh, these are my oil crates. Do you know what? I'll do um, I'll I'll do a separate video on record box when I'm ready, because right now I don't, I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> so yeah, we're back. So, yeah, so this live stream has been going on for two and a half hours. I appreciate everyone that's been in here. I've had literally over thirty people the whole entire time. So. Yeah, you lot have smashed it, man. Um, appreciate everyone that's been in the comments asking questions. Um, yeah, honestly, you lot are sick, man. Like, the live streams are just getting better and better every single week. Um, I'm probably going to do another live stream tomorrow um, and one on Wednesday. 
Um, so if you guys have any more questions, just hold them off. Um, tomorrow, I might take a step in the next direction, a step forward with this music library step. I've had an idea of how to price things and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully I can get a, a decent thing out for you guys to help you lot organize your music libraries and stuff like that man because the most important thing is to get your music library sorted and then you can just get out and start djing man because that's the that's the main thing so hopefully i can get that all sorted for you guys but again i appreciate everyone that's been in the live stream um yeah lightspeed entertainment 100 percent, man music library organization with a bit of code I found my niche <laughs> But yeah, um, again, people appreciate it. If you want to follow me up on socials, you got at Insta, uh, at Insta. If you want to follow me on Instagram, at DJC underscore B. You've then got me on Twitter, um, at DJCB. Uh, TikTok, uh, at DJC underscore B, I think it is. Um, if you want to follow my newsletter, um, I'll post a link somewhere. <laughs> um yeah, if you want to join my newsletter, reach out to me. I post out DJ tips all the time. If you want to book a one-to-one -one session with me, music library organization, links in the description. If you want to, what else, what else do I offer? What else? If, if you want to, oh, if you want to send me your music library, feel free. Um, send it over to me. I'll sort it out and I'll be in touch with how much it costs and stuff like that. But I'll show you how I can organize your music library and stuff like that. But yeah. I appreciate everyone that's been in the live stream. We're going to cut it off now because I need to go to bed because I have to be at the gym for half past seven for my personal training appointment. But yeah, appreciate everyone that's been in the live stream, man. I'll catch you lot possibly tomorrow, if not next week. Peace.